Hi everyone and welcome to Home Reno Collectibles, where today, as you can see, we're going to be taking a look at the Pokemon edition of the Nintendo Switch Lite. So this is the Pokemon Sword and Shield Zacian and Zamanzenta version. I butcher those names every time I say them, but basically it is the Pokemon edition of the Nintendo Switch Lite, which I've wanted ever since it came out. Now, from the time that you're seeing this video, I know I won't be putting this up anytime soon, so I've probably been playing this for a few weeks already. But barring the case that's right here, I have had uh, this lot as one from eBay. So the two games, uh, these 3D printed things, and the Switch, and then this case I got off Amazon. So obviously this edition of the Switch Lite is not a new thing, so really this is just kind of a show and tell. It's not so much a review of a new awesome thing, it's just a kind of show and tell, hey look at what I finally picked up. So this eBay lot, basically the people that sold me this, um, they already have a Switch and they may already have some other Switch Lights. Um, they picked this up, uh, decided that they weren't actually going to use this, so instead of just holding on to it, they decided to sell it. Uh, and so basically it was, I think, a week old or two weeks old when I bought this thing, like, from the seller. And they did not previously use it, or if they did, they might have used it once or twice, but it's basically a brand new system put back in the box. And they were actually awesome. Uh, I was actually second in the bidding for this. I didn't actually win the initial bid, uh, and then... Um, the person who did win the lot, uh, they actually pulled out. They didn't pay for it, so basically, um, instead of just restarting it up, uh, the seller got in touch with me and asked if I wanted to go ahead with the, you know, max bid that I had placed, and there we go, I got it. So I got it for a great deal, uh, also with these 3D printed things. Uh, Beat em Ups is my favourite YouTube channel right now, has been for quite a few months, actually. Um, I saw these two items, these two 3D printed pieces of awesomeness on there as, you know, Switch accessories, as they do for a lot of their videos. Um, so this here is a game holder. How many? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So you can hold 12 games in here. So it's just a 3D printed red thing with the awesome Nintendo Switch logo on right there. Fits the games in nice and snugly and they sit upright. So here we have 1, 2, Switch, which I know I won't be playing on this. I will be playing it on my brother's Switch though. So there you go, as you can see. Holds them nice and securely and upright. They're not going anywhere. Really, really awesome games holder right there. What we also have is this little 3D printed uh, power-up box from Mario. So you can take the top off here and inside we have spaces for game cards and also SD cards, which is really, really awesome. And this came with four of these little stars. How epic is that? They serve no purpose other than they just look cool and you can store them in there and that is what I will do so I'll just go ahead and pop those back in there so that I do not lose them there we go and then the top just fits on like so really really nice little box um these if you want to get these off eBay can actually go for a pretty penny I mean you're looking at anywhere you can get these in red I've also seen them in black I'm sure people will do them in different colors because basically they're just made to order um I haven't seen quite as many on eBay right now, but when I looked, uh, when I saw them on Beat'em Ups, uh, they were much more popular back then, about a year ago. So, uh, these things can go for like 15, 20, 30, quite a lot of money. And then these, obviously, about the same, about 20-ish, um, and that's in pounds, so it's going to be obviously a little bit more uh, in terms of dollars and stuff. But I believe from like retail price, I basically paid for these retail and then basically got these for free. So I was really, really happy with that. So, Pokemon Shield, awesome. That is the one that I prefer. Um, let's go ahead and open up this bad boy right here. Let's get that unboxing experience on the go. So we're gonna open up this side. Uh, I have already opened it up myself, I do have to say, uh, just to have a look at it, make sure everything uh, was there and in working order. Well, not working order, but you know what I mean. I haven't actually switched it on. So, I'm gonna... Flip this up, ah, there is the switch, and then we just have the power cable inside and also the manual, so we don't really need to worry too much about that. Right here, we have the switch, we'll take it out of the protective packaging, and I'll pop that back inside just so I can close that box up. There we go, and that's all sorted. So, here it is, and there I am, hello. So. 
What we have here is obviously the blue cyan buttons on the left, or cyan, whatever, for Zacian. And then we have the magenta pink over here on the right for the uh, Zamazentus. Obviously, that's why they are called what they are. But this looks absolutely incredible. I'm going to bring the exposure level down just a touch because it is going a little bit crazy. There we go. That should be a little easier to see. Um, I absolutely adore the look of this thing. This grey I do like a lot more than the dark grey, the regular uh, Switch Lite version. And then you have the white, or slightly off-white, um, there for the buttons. If I bring this over, you can see uh, it's a little bit more kind of blue, a little bit more kind of grey than the white of that box. Uh, a quick overview of this. Obviously, you've got your heat vents, so you've got your power button, volume buttons, you've got your game card slot, and also your headphone jacket right there. And on the bottom, you've got your uh, power cable, and then you've got your uh, SD card slot right there. Awesome thing about this is, flip it over to the back. There you have those two legendaries right there embossed onto the back. Uh, they are in a kind of silver. So as you move it around, it shines. There you go. You can see how silver it is there. And it looks like a kind of darker gray, not in the light. It looks fantastic. I absolutely adore this thing. I may get some kind of a clear case to use for this, though, because... I get the feeling, like, as I'm holding it, obviously, your fingers are right there, as you can see. So I have the feeling that I may rub that off over extended periods uh, of time, uh, a lot of use. I'm not sure how that's going to hold up, but I don't want to find out one day that it's worn off. Um, so I might get some kind of a case, but at the same time, I don't know, because I do like uh, how the Switch feels in my hands. It would be nice to have a little bit more back here, though. Um, I know you can get the grips and stuff. I don't think I need grips. I think uh, this could do just being a little bit thicker and then it would seriously be perfect in my hands. But anyway, there is a quick look at the Switch itself. Now let's take a look at this thing. Uh, I do need to uh, cut the tape on this box. But yeah, I was looking for a case. I literally just typed in Nintendo Switch Lite uh, case on Amazon. This was the first one that popped up, and it was absolutely perfect. It was exactly what I needed. And it looks awesome. Look at that. So we have a Pokemon case. We have, uh, it, I think it was called the Expressions case. It is a, uh, a stealth case kit, is the actual name of it. But yeah, this design pattern was called Expressions. So there you have the three original starters, along with Pikachu and Eevee. And then we have a little bit of colour dotted in there, and then it's just black on the other side. Now, um, Power A, the uh, company that made this, as you can see right there, um, they're the ones that make... Whoopsie daisy. They're the ones that make that awesome Pikachu and Mewtwo uh, Pro Controller. So you can actually get that same design on this case. You have Pikachu over here, and then Versus, and then Mewtwo. And there's also, uh, I think it's called Graffiti, and that's a, a, a Pikachu one. There's some other awesome ones, but yeah, had to have a Pokemon uh, case, and this thing just looks epic. So, flipping this thing open, we have some goodies inside. Let's take those out. So this thing is folded away, just like that. If we bring this out, you can see you have a pouch here that you can use for stuff, or your cloth, which is right here. Uh, and then you have little game cart uh, slots right there, so you can hold up to four games, and then a little pocket. And if you pop this here like that, you can use it as a stand for your Switch, so you can play with a pro, a pro controller or something, and keep the Switch up there. If you are the kind of person that's going to watch things on your Switch, then obviously you can do that, but bleh, I'm not going to use it for that. Otherwise, you can just keep it down like so, and then your Switch will fit perfectly and snugly into that bottom section. And then obviously the gaps either side at the top, there is room for those buttons. So that is the awesome case. What you also get is a little cloth for cleaning the screen, which is really, really cute. And then also we have a, a screen protector there as well, which I will not be using, but it's nice to have one. So there you have it, guys. I definitely do recommend this case. That fits nice and snug. Oh, and also uh, this is just a little card that helps you apply your uh, screen protector 
without getting bubbles in. So it helps you squeeze the bubbles out. It's just a little thick card with the same Pokemon design on. So that's nice. Um, yeah, so definitely recommend this case. It's really, really awesome. Great price for what it is. Uh, these 3D printed things, I definitely do recommend picking them up. I mean, this one, uh, not so much. I mean, you're not going to need that many SD cards and to carry around... Uh, all those kind of games and stuff. I mean, it's good for games, but SD cards, you're not really going to need that much storage space at all. Unless you are the kind of person that buys everything digitally. I definitely am not. I hate digital stuff. I love physical things, hence why I'm a collector. So, uh, yeah, uh, I'm not really going to have much use for this. It was just a nice thing to bung in there. Definitely recommend picking this thing up. I just love the design there and just that as like a centerpiece of your Switch games collection. The games that you are going to use often, you can stand up in there. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Love the design of the case. Uh, this is, I definitely believe, the best design of the Switch Lite. And obviously, if you want them, find them and pick them up because they are selling out everywhere. In fact, they were sold out everywhere, hence why I had to go to uh, eBay to try and find them. But yeah, absolutely epic. Um, Pokemon Shield, I will definitely enjoy playing that. By the time this video goes up, I've probably completed it or there and thereabouts. So I have actually recently picked up an N64, in fact, two of them. There will be a video uh, of showing that stuff come out because the N64 has a plethora of my favorite games ever because of just the nostalgia as a kid, you know, uh, Rogue Squadron, GoldenEye, uh, Pokemon Stadium, Lilac Wars, all that good stuff so i've been playing that a lot so that might hinder my progress on this but uh, cannot wait to get stuck into that but yeah there you go there's my quick look into my uh, new nintendo switch Lite system or at least new to me uh, and the plethora of accessories that i have got with it as i get more games and accessories and stuff if i feel that i can make uh, a video out of it i will share it with you. Once I have a bunch of games, I will obviously show you um, kind of updates on my games collection. And I'm going to be bringing you a lot of kind of classic stuff. I mean, I have a SNES, I have a Mega Drive, et cetera, et cetera. So I will be showcasing those older collections and the games and stuff. I mean, the Mega Drive basically was my brother's. Um, so we got a bunch of Master System games because we do actually have a Master System upstairs as well. So Master System and Mega Drive games and stuff, a huge collection of that stuff. So cannot wait to uh, showcase that kind of stuff on the channel as well and just get a lot more into gaming with Home Reno Collectibles. Because little known fact, before Home Reno Collectibles was called Home Reno Collectibles, it was called Home Reno Gaming. Uh, it was going to be a gameplay channel. So it would be really nice to start bringing that stuff back with a huge focus on a classic collectible game. So, thanks for watching, guys. If you enjoyed the video, go ahead and give it a like. If you want to see more like this, check out the videos on the screen right now. And the links to my social media are in the description below. Uh, let me know in the comments if you want to see more videos like this and what kind of videos you would want to see relating to the Switch and Switch games. Like, would you want to see kind of gameplay sort of videos or would you want to see, you know, more collection updates and things like that and how I get, um, or, you know, what accessories that I use and how I use them with systems like this. Yeah, let me know. And if enough of you want certain types of videos, then I will see if I can go ahead and produce them for you. And to see them, obviously go ahead and subscribe. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you next time.